everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys, Scorpio? Hope all's well. Oh, let's see what your energies are this week. Single Scorpios in their love life. What is it you need to know? Something wants to come out. There you are, Scorpio. Single Scorpios. So I do see something has ended here. I feel it's something that's taken a lot of strength to end the situation. But I actually feel like this is something you're pretty confident about. I see looking on the past with kindness, compassion. So it's an energy of transition. Every ending has a new beginning. Yeah, you may have had to cut somebody out here. It may have taken a lot of inner strength. But it's also an energy of speaking up and speaking your mind. Okay, be wise, be discerning. Okay, make sure any decision you're making that you feel confident with it. Okay, tame that beast within yourself as well here. Okay, because it's also an energy of somebody who needs to tame that beast within themselves so it's about kind of watching your words but feel, feeling confident with a choice a decision or what it is that you're communicating okay so if you don't want something to end maybe think think very clearly here about what you're going to say tame that beast <laughs> but it does look like some of you have ended something and it took a lot of strength yeah i do see every ending has a new beginning so this is an energy of forgiveness looking on the past with kindness compassion maybe forgiving yourself but i do see this beautiful energy of a fresh new start a new opportunity yeah look at that so i do see the death of the ego Someone's ego may have taken a hit here. So like I say, maybe this is what's happened to yourself to do with this or someone else. Okay. But it has to do with a situation that wasn't successful, now can be. So it's an energy of definitely taking pride. Okay. I see a lot of pride. Yeah. It's an energy of acknowledging something here too. It's about acknowledging this. I feel some of you could be proud of yourself for speaking up too. <laughs> but watch the ego, okay? Watch the ego, especially if you don't want to end something. You know, take it how it resonates. But I feel it has to do with planning and preparing for success. Letting go of the ego. Mm -hmm. See, so a situation has come to an end. A painful period is over. You have an opportunity for a fresh new start. See, there's a lot of emotion. That cup runneth over, see, with emotion here. So, yeah, sometimes the Queen of Swords could come across as a little cold. <laughs> but often it takes a lot of strength to speak up and end a situation. If you feel like it's not long-term or successful, like I say, someone's ego may have taken a hit. So something is painful. It's over. So this is now the energy of rising like the phoenix from the ashes. So I love this. You have an opportunity for a fresh new start here. Now this could be a love letter, an invitation, communication of some kind here, Scorpio. So what else does Scorpio need to know about your situation? Yeah, there you are. You know what you want. You're not settling. But I do see pride and ego, okay? I say it could be the, I do see a little Sag energy. But I, I feel it has to do with yourself here as well, not just the other person. But it's an energy of taming the beast, being kind and compassionate. Yeah, it's an energy of being fair, yeah. Some of you are, like I say, maybe ending an unhealthy situation, but this is actually someone who acts like they don't care, but they do. Haha, -ha, you see? Because of the pride and ego getting in the way. Now, if it isn't yourself, it's someone else. I see a little Capricorn energy, some kind of obsession here. Yeah. It's coming after the fact here. But yeah, I do see the energy of starting something new. Now, it could be some of you. Now, <laughs> this is an energy of being wise. Maybe lessons that you've learned here to stay strong and be confident. So actually, some of you may be, you know, going through some kind of, something is over. There's an energy of transition. So it has to do with now feeling confident. And I feel what you're doing is acting like you don't care, but you do. Because I do think you know here. It's, just, it's an energy of that chasing energy. Mm -hmm. Runner, chaser. But someone's ego definitely took a hit. So let's have a look at this Scorpio energy. It's the energy of transition and change. Yeah, see, ending it, walking away. 
feeling confident, searching for something new. I do feel like you've got new here. I see some happiness and joy. So, I mean, maybe you've ended in a healthy situation here and you're just feeling so good. Uh, and you're also, it's an energy of, you know, this is an energy of someone who, you know, it's an energy of chasing, but it's an energy of ego and pride. So, so it, there was a some sort of painful ending, but it's over. This period in your life is over. So I feel it's telling you to have confidence here. Yeah, there it is. It's an energy of a soulmate connection. It's ending something with someone. See, it's an energy of looking for that soulmate. Some of you are searching for a soulmate after ending. Now, it could be someone else who's ended the situation. They could be looking for the same thing as you. Watch the pride and the ego. <laughs> It's possible someone's pride got in the way, and this may not be yourself, but I feel you're going to be quite discerning. Now, I don't know if it's another person, like I say, that they have ended and walked away, and this is someone heading in your direction. See, searching for something new. Where is my soulmate? <laughs> Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Who is this? Yes. Okay, this is somebody here. So whoever this is, is someone who's very enthusiastic. But this is also someone who rushes in to a situation and then runs away. So it's a, to me, it looks like a lot. And I do see an obsession, but I, you know, like I say, someone's acting like they don't care, but they do. So, yeah. Wow. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. This doesn't have to be yourself. This could be someone else, a friend here. It could be someone giving advice. So. We'll see. Let's have a look at the Queen of Swords. But often it's yourself, that scorpion sting. <laughs> yeah. And it's possible, too, you've ended this because someone rushed in, rushed out, the runner chaser. So I do feel, I mean, I feel like you're acting like you don't care. Or somebody else is. Queen of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah, see, it has to do with someone coming in right. See, come to me right or don't come to me at all. So uh, this could be yourself, too, taking off in the other direction. Maybe you were chasing someone here or they were chasing you. But it has to do with someone who rushed in, maybe became overwhelmed. So a little bit of pressure here. Yeah, someone could be feeling the pressure. So watch the pride and ego. Yeah, we have someone here. See, it's an energy of someone who didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get the cup filled. See, it wasn't emotionally fulfilling. Nine of cups, ten of cups. I, I think this is, you've got a person, and it could be yourself just feeling confident, feeling more enthusiastic about connecting, ending something and connecting with someone else. But if it is another person who's ended something and they're heading your way, it's very possible they're feeling. I do see Sag. I do feel that they're very, you know, they may be feeling more confident. And it could be, like I say, someone giving them advice to put their best foot forward to come in right. So it could be you, could be them. Another person, yeah, just come out again. So confirmation, whoever this is, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly, or someone in your social circle who's, uh, it's not afraid of speaking up. They say things as it is, straight up. So it could be someone, but it could be yourself too. It does look like it's someone else, a friend. Yeah, let's have a look at the Six of Wands. What have you got going on? It's an energy of searching. Where's my soulmate? Yeah, this is someone who often gets a little overwhelmed, things moving too fast, too. This is a person who does. Things are just moving too quickly. So something came to an end. Now, some of you, too, I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons. You're being wise. Been there, done that. You see? You've been through this before. Someone who rushes in and out. Now, that could be yourself where you've done this before. So it's an energy, I feel, of not blaming another person for something you've done yourself. Taming the beast, the ego. And it's interesting because I did see that Eight of Wands flip through when I was shut, and it just showed up again. Look at that. Look how that just showed up. I just pulled this deck apart and there it was. See the blame game. Not blaming someone else for something you've done yourself. Rushed in and changed your mind or felt overwhelmed. But I do see the been there, done that. Okay. So I do see this energy. This is going to be a fun reading. Yeah, we have an energy of two people manifesting. But this looks like to me two people who've never really been completely fulfilled. Never see this is someone who doesn't get what they want. They didn't get that. 
because they rushed in and rushed out. They got overwhelmed. But this is also an energy of someone being a little careful what they're manifesting. So be careful what you're manifesting here. Learn those lessons. But it's also an energy of letting go of baggage, see, being ready for something new. But I don't know if this is someone here giving someone advice about this. I really feel like it's someone giving advice. I see a Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but it's an energy of, I mean, it could be somebody matchmaking. Come to me right. Did you re relay those messages to someone, Scorpio? <laughs> yeah, this is yourself down here, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're feeling pretty fiery. Yeah, this is an energy of tempering your passions. Yeah, learning to be patient. Mm -hmm. So it's an energy of too much information too fast. Someone's sharing too much too fast. And somebody kind of ran away. Now, this is often a person who runs away. I do see some of you acting like you don't care, but I think you do. Or they are. It's an energy of someone who's obviously had an unhealthy relationship before. But I actually feel there's a little obsession here. So, And I also see it's also that workaholic card. Someone who's focused on work, just doing their, I'm just doing my own thing. I think this other person knows, whoever, if this is a friend, they know. They know you. <laughs> they know something is a little off here. But it's actually something very positive in a way because it's all being exposed, a lot of happiness and joy. It's also an energy of trying something different. Now, maybe some of you are trying something different, acting like you don't care. So this person chases. Okay, Being a little mysterious, that kind of energy, you know. Yeah, that's what I feel, trying something different. But if you feel something is off, it probably is. But I don't think this is mostly the case here. I really feel like it's an energy of searching for that soulmate. Someone has definitely ended something and walked away. It wasn't emotion fulfilling. They never got what they wanted. So I feel like, like I say, it could be yourself. But you could have a friend who's speaking up to somebody on behalf of this. But it has to do with not blaming someone for the same thing. See, blaming somebody for what somebody else does. Okay? Or something you may have done yourself where you've rushed in and ran away because you got overwhelmed or things were moving too quick. So, but I feel for some of you, it's about not rushing in so fast, sharing too much information too fast with someone, okay, wanting to connect on that emotional level so quickly. But there's the cycle ending, yeah, this is energy. I feel things are about to go in your favor. If something is over, it's done, yeah. So I feel it's telling you to temper your passions, temper your emotions, and try something different. And I do feel the trying different is trying to act like you don't care. But I feel now it's saying if you want this to go in your favor, see what you put out there comes back to you, raising that vibration. See, ready to start something new. And I do feel news coming in. Yeah, look at that. See, feeling happier. Ready. Some of you are ready for something new here. But this is interesting, this person up here, like I say, you know, it's an energy of being wise, not blaming something, somebody else, being kind and compassionate with someone who uh, run away because you've likely done this yourself. But if it is another person talking, this is someone I feel who, you know, is uh, maybe telling this other person. Vice versa, but it's about someone coming in right, putting their best foot forward, planting the seed, building the foundation. Someone was enthusiastic, and it, maybe it was yourself feeling enthusiastic. This is often a person who's a little more confident, a little too enthusiastic sometimes, and they share too much too fast. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually feel this is going to turn out well. Yeah, see the Empress. This is an energy of what you put out there coming back to you. See, very positive, happy, high vibration. Some of you are ready for new. And I do see new coming in because you're manifesting it. There's going to be uh, communication. Now, it could be this other person. I do think someone's matchmaking. I got to tell you, it's, I see opportunity coming in fast when you least expect it. You know, keeping your options open. Somebody here may want to know about options, but this is an energy of someone often just fantasizing, romanticizing. But whatever has happened, see the burden, the Ten of Wands, baggage is gone. Someone's leaving their baggage behind. They're ready for something new. That's when the sun starts to shine and this painful period is over. And we have someone rising like the phoenix from the ashes. And I actually feel that could be yourself and that energy. Now, if you have Sag in your chart as well, 
you have Mars energy, Scorpio, which is like Aries, a lot of fire, a lot of passion. So it's saying to kind of temper that and temper your words. Watch your words. Okay. But it's about trying something different. Now, you could be different than someone's usual type or it's just letting someone different in. I feel like you're open to talk, to communicate. I feel you've learned a lot of lessons. We have the Empress here. So I, I, I just feel like it. there's this other person and I'm going to look at this. Tell me more about this person. I really feel this is a big part of what's going to happen here. Who is this Queen of Swords? Who is this Queen of Swords? Oh, it has to do with something new. It's about everything being exposed. Something very positive, a lot of happiness. So this is a happy person. Yeah, it's about starting something new. So like I say, like I say, it could be advice to another person or someone that you know, yourself, a friend. But I do think this is a person who's, see, it's an energy of the burdens, baggage lift and ready for something new, but it's about coming in right, starting things off right. So maybe something didn't start off right with someone, but the baggage is gone. Yeah, see, there you are, Scorpio. You didn't get something you wanted. So you didn't get something you wanted here. So watch your words, okay? I feel it is telling you to watch your words. Don't blame someone else for something you've done yourself, rushed in. But it's also an energy of keeping options open. The Empress often keeps their options open. So maybe you have a lot of other options here. But it's also romanticizing, fantasizing. And I do see the possibility of several things going on. It's also an energy of looking at how something played out. See how something played out. But I feel like you didn't get what you wanted. But here's another thing. Keeping some of these things to yourself so that you get what you want. Keeping your feelings to yourself, not sharing too much. So someone who's also emotional. We know you have that emotional side. We know you have that fiery, passionate side. So you are manifesting all the energies of the queens here. So, yeah, I like it, though. So you're looking on the past with kindness, compassion, but I feel like you didn't get something you wanted here. But I do feel there are other options, possibilities, but I still feel somebody else has ended something and they're looking for the same thing you are, their best friend, a soulmate connection. So I do see an energy of change. See, so something here, it may have changed you forever, but it has to do with learning to go with the flow, just letting things evolve and see where they go. You're manifesting, but be, be, do be careful what it is you're manifesting. Or how, for that matter. Yeah, I see change. Uh, positive change. Mm-hmm. See, no, you're no, no longer chasing. You're acting now like you don't care. You're trying this. I feel like you're trying this, acting like you don't care when you do. <laughs> Maybe it's the other person, but I feel like it's yourself. Yeah, so one of those energies of the Empress, just kind of being very nonchalant. Yeah, it's cool. I'm cool. No, I'm just chilling. I'm looking out for me. I'm just focused on, you know, some creative pursuits, you know, whatever. Just doing your own thing. I think this person's going to call you out. <laughs> I think they know. Mm -hmm. But I do think this person's matchmaking. I really do. Yeah, they're manifesting. And there's energy of someone reaching out here. It's a little test. See, it's a little bit of a test. I don't know if this person tested you or said something, but you're being tempted. Okay, you're going to be tempted. It's a little bit of a test to see. Yeah, it has to do with someone putting in the effort. I see some of you focused on work. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm chill. I'm just doing my own thing. <laughs> uh huh. But I do see this cycle. This is where things start to go in your favor. So it actually looks like it might be working. But like I say, I feel like you have a friend here, a friend of a friend who's a little bit of a test. So a little bit of a manipulation, but I feel in a fun way just to see. So I actually think this, there's someone's going to reach out to you to see if you're going to respond. I think you're going to be patient and just kind of chill and just you're not going to rush, I feel, into responding to somebody. You're going to leave them kind of, you know, hanging for a moment here, I feel. Yeah, see, that's often an energy of just, it's, it's about not obsessing, even if you are, okay? And you're crazy about this person, you can't stop thinking about him. Yeah, but I, you know, to be honest, I, I feel like, 
you're going to be very tempted with this because I see somebody coming in to test you. And I think it's that, that Queen of Swords. I really feel that's another person. And I do feel that there's going to be a conversation or you've already had it. So, yeah, it's actually something that looks like it's going to pay off. <laughs> I mean, I see new. I see new coming in. I see high vibration, very positive, a lot of happiness and joy. You know, you've got an emperor coming in. So, yeah, you've got an emperor here. See, this is somebody here who's crazy about you, but they're also kind of acting like they don't care. But it has to do with who's stronger, who's confident. I feel like you're pretty confident, but watch out for the ego, overconfidence. But you have an emperor. Now, this is someone who's manifested the energies of the kings. So this is someone who works a lot. I do feel workaholic. You may have something in common with this person, workaholic energy. Yeah, but I, I think you're both crazy about each other. You're both thinking about each other. Yeah, this person could have Pisces in their chart. But I also feel this is someone who's very wise. They're kind of keeping things to themselves here. It's an energy of the mystery of the Empress. So you've got somebody doing a lot of, you've got them obsessed. So this is one of the energies of the Empress, is getting somebody crazy about you by acting like you don't care. This is someone when they want something, they want it. <laughs> and when they can't have it, they want it even more. Now, I'm not suggesting, it's here. I'm not suggesting doing it. But, I mean, if you are crazy about someone and used to chasing and it's not paying off, you never get what you want when you chase after someone, for starters, stop chasing. Figure out what it is you want, what makes you happy, if it's even worth all this effort before you even do it. And then just focus on work and other things. And if they message you, don't be so available. Okay, because it has to do with keeping your options open. But I do see planning here, a little bit of planning. And it looks to me, and I think this person's crazy about you. I really do. And I do feel they are an emperor. You know, they're putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels, taking a little pause. But actually do, before you do this, make sure you look at how the other person might feel. They could actually run away. But I really feel it's just these lessons that you're learning about not chasing and not giving so much of yourself, being the wife before you're the wife. You know all that energy, Scorpio. We know you're kind and caring and nurturing. You love to take care of people, but you never seem to get what you want. So, yeah. So I feel like you're testing this out and trying it out, but I still feel there's that matchmaker. The matchmaker. This person. Tell me about this person. Who are they? You know, there's somebody who offers up a cup, a fresh new start, uh, some sort of communication to do with emotions. I mean, it very well could be you. Like I say, just taking lessons you've learned. But I feel like I still feel some of you got this person who's a little bit of manipulative, but in a fun way. It is manipulation by not, you know, tossing someone a little hint. So maybe it's yourself tempting this person, tossing a hint. Or someone's telling you is doing that on your behalf. See, it's an energy of waiting for someone. See, someone's not reciprocating. So this is where you kind of turn that around and you start to do that. No longer reciprocating to someone or just dropping a little hint, not saying too much, not putting a lot of effort into it. So this is someone looking at that. But this is also something that can backfire. If you take it too far, the Empress knows, okay? Yeah, see, it has to do with putting all those cups on the table. I, I just see somebody kind of smile. I'm going to be honest here. I actually feel this person knows. <laughs> this person knows. They know. They know something's off here. But it's actually making, I feel it's making them smile. So regardless, it looks like it's still going to work. But don't carry it too far. Okay, if you act like you don't care for too long or... But I feel it's an urge of just not being so available to someone when they just all of a sudden just reach out out of the blue and they want your attention. You know, that's what I feel. But you never seem to get what you want. When you want attention from them, they're busy working or they don't put a lot of effort into communicating. So I don't know, you're maybe just teaching using your inner strength, teaching someone how you want to be treated by doing what they do. So fascinating, but I really like this because I actually feel like it's going to pay off. But I feel, like I say, it's in a, in a very kind and compassionate, gentle way, okay? There's nothing cruel or harsh, but it is telling you to watch your words, okay? 
Yeah, see, it's an energy of change. Change for the better. So this is somebody who goes through that change. <laughs> Some of you have had an unhealthy relationship before, too. I can see it. You put yourself out there, you put your all, you put a lot of effort and work into it, and you never got what you wanted. So I feel like this is an energy where, you know, you may be just putting your foot down a little bit. But I still see happiness and joy. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of ambition. I actually feel like some of you are very goal-oriented as well here. This is your goal. And I do see change for the better. I see a lot of growth, too financial growth just focusing more on work than your love life because it does look like some of you too side message maybe focusing so much on your love life okay uh, but you're not getting what you want so i feel this is where you may change something's changed you where you start to focus more on your finances as well so it, it i feel it's just like a win-win situation here but yeah here's your person coming in to ask you out <laughs> Well, see, they're asking you out. This is someone exploring their feelings. So it's an energy of just exploring it and seeing where it goes. But there they are asking you out. But you can see you're a little ahead of this person. I feel like you're crazy about them. I feel like you really want this. Yeah, see, there it is. While you're waiting, focus on work while you're waiting. And it's also an energy of not being so available. Like I say, let them wait a little bit. It looks like a little tit for tap. Little mind games manipulation, nothing major. I don't feel like this is, it, I don't see anything harmful. I just see someone going, okay, well, you know, when I want something, when I want some attention or I want to hang out, you're not talking to me. You, you, you breadcrumb me. Uh, but when you want something, you come in, you know, toss a little hint. And then, of course, there, there's, there's Scorpio giving them what they want. So I feel like you're going to keep them waiting a little bit. Let them obsess. Let that energy build. Yeah, see, it's about connecting. See, they want to connect, soulmate connection. They have to put in the effort, make them work for it. Okay, and if they don't, then you know that they're not the right person. See, they need to come in right. I still feel there's that person. Every time I look up there, I get this vibe of this person, and it's a feeling of somebody who's trying to tell someone to put their best foot forward. Now, I don't know if you said something to this person, a friend or someone, and you had a conversation. Somebody who's a very close friend, it's a deep friendship. Um, I feel for for yourself and if it's not you it's the other person that's coming in so but yeah I like I say some of you sometimes you have to two people have to kind of come apart to come back together but I really feel like it's more like it's just uh, this person just it wasn't didn't come in right for whatever reason yeah see it's an energy of being fair it has to do with uh, love and a bond between two people See, they need to ask you out. I see change and change for the better. And if they don't, and it's also if it is someone coming back around, okay, after a date or so where things didn't kind of go very well or they left you waiting, they weren't on time, you know, I, like I feel it's just an energy of someone who they kind of keep you waiting, you know, and maybe they're just, they're not on time, whatever the issue is. So it has to do with teaching them to put into effort here. Yeah, it's kind of doing your own thing, but I do feel, like I say, just, I'm, I'm fine, I'm all good, I'm just chilling out, focus on work, doing my own thing, acting very nonchalant, feeling pretty confident. So, you know, some of you are definitely still single, too. If you have somebody who doesn't want to commit or, you know, they're not reliable or dependable and they always keep you waiting, definitely keep your options open. And I do, you've got an emperor coming in, regardless whether it's you've walked away from someone, okay? But this is a lesson you're going to apply to this, regardless if it's the same person coming back around or whether it's someone new. So this has to do with faith. It has to do with some kind of an agreement. And it's about two people being on the same page, getting each other. Yeah. So I feel this is an energy of yourself having faith too. See, it starts right up there. Having faith in yourself too to make a, uh, be confident about a decision. If, but, but make sure you are confident before you literally cut somebody out maybe you're going to try uh, something else to kind of reach this person but uh, some of you it is also an energy if you have a type and this is the same thing that keeps happening you keep having the same type of person they keep doing the same thing this is something that you have to change okay don't act like the wife 
till you're the wife. Make sure they put in the effort. You know, look out for yourself. Look out for number one. Okay. Someone keeps you waiting and then they, they contact you. Yeah, sorry, I already made plans. You know, gee, I really would have liked to connect with you, but <laughs> yeah, you kept me waiting too long. But you know, it's applying these energies and you know, I mean, you can, this is the energies of the Empress. Like, hey, I know what I want and I'm not settling. You either come in right, treat me right. You know, you're we're on the same page and we want the same thing. Otherwise, I'm out of here, you know. With kindness and compassion, though, you know, I don't see anything cruel or harsh, okay, but I do see some words up top there, yeah, I really feel, like I say, if you have a type, for those of you who have a type and you have a particular kind of person you like, but the same thing keeps happening, it's time to try a different kind of person, or it's something with yourself that you need to do different, okay, like I say, and I do see new coming in. I see happiness and joy here. I see a person asking you out. Now, they could be new. I do see a Taurus energy here. Cancer Pisces. I do see a Pisces. I also see that Gemini energy and Libra. So some of you definitely have a type. But if you had an unhealthy relationship with someone in the past, maybe this is something that's changed you forever where you're just doing things different. But you've got new. So take care of yourself, okay? Do what it is you need to do. But like I say, always with kindness and compassion. Always be fair. Always take that little pause to make sure, you know, that you put the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels. But sometimes you have to teach somebody to do that, to put the shoe on their other foot to see how you feel, okay? So, but I feel patience is definitely required here. We know the Empress is patient, Okay, so like I say, don't share too much too fast with somebody. Let them discover you a little bit at a time. Just give them a little bit. I think you're going to drive someone crazy, quite honestly. I really feel like you're going to drive them crazy by acting kind of like you don't care a little bit here and there. But I'm wondering if they're doing that because we know an emperor is very wise too. The emperor can play that game too. <laughs> You know, just drive. I think you're just driving each other nuts in the end for some of you. But I feel mostly this is yourself because your cards came out first. The Empress. Yeah. Some of you will definitely put your foot down with someone here. But I feel it's, I, I see you being very passionate. You know, taming that beast, your passion. And learning to be a little patient too. Don't rush into anything. Take care and we'll see you soon.